Hey, hey everybody, I got my furry mic here, and that's because the camera's at a big distance, so I, was, I just want to see how it's going to sound. Anyway, so the furry mic is, uh, if it gets in the way, my apologies. So I'm going to answer a question that was put to me a couple of days ago from a uh, YouTube subscriber, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to skim through it because I don't want to bore you guys. So I've been a subscriber for a while. Just sign up to your IWD course. Thank you very much. I enjoy watching your videos and experience. I watched your recent video about boot camps and left me wondering. Oh boy. I am in a situation of confusion at the moment after watching the video and was hoping you could straighten my compass, as he says. I value your advice, all right? I was self-employed contractor for 30 years. That's quite a while. Uh, the daily physical work has taken its toll on my body. I am now 60 and trying to change careers again to become a web dev or do something from the neck up. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Uh, as you get older, your body becomes less resilient. So even more reason to stay in shape. I'm sure this guy is in shape, but, you know, 60 is 60. But nonetheless, if you're a young developer, Try to get into a habit of staying in shape. It's going to pay off down the road, I can guarantee. I've always had a passion for computers since I owned my Tandy Model 3. I went to night school back in 2000 for a year, but took what was the best web dev course available at the time. Unfortunately, life got in the way. Better part of 15 years is now here. And here I am trying to get back on my feet. Well, the good thing is that what you learned in 2000, the web dev stuff that you learned in 2000 is largely all... Uh, outdated for the most part, although the basics are still the basics. Programming is still programming, but mm, boy, have web design and development practices changed since the year 2000. It's huge. I remember a friend of mine who cut his teeth in the 90s with me. He came to me about the year 2003. I had lost contact with him, and uh, he had been a a manager for one of the uh, very pretty big well-established web-based business back at the time and uh, he was somewhat of a coder anyhow long story short 2003 he realized he, he, he sort of started, decided he had to get back into the game again and he realized that how much the game had changed it was drastic into from from just like 98 to 2003 so uh, he had to basically relearn everything from scratch. And I, I remember that conversation because I remember saying to him, yeah, I know, I know how you feel because uh, I was on top of it. Unlike him, I kept myself up to date with things. But again, then there was another radical change. I'd say in the, well, when HTML5 came around, I guess around 2012 that was. That was huge because we went from X HTML to HTML5 and everything changed again. Not so big a change versus 98 to 2003, but nonetheless. Anyway, so don't worry about, you know, not having completed things back in the day. It would have been better, but it's not really crucial. So he said, uh, I tried self-study for a year in Udemy, but I felt I needed something a bit more structured to move things along. So I enrolled in a boot camp almost a year ago, and I am currently enrolled, but have been offered two months to take care of some personal issues. Uh, not a good thing since I forgot a lot. So far, I've gone through HTML, CSS, jQuery, now finishing up JavaScript APIs and about to learn Node, then React. Uh, I have a good understanding so far, but not necessarily what I would call proficient, especially when it comes to functions. I am subscribed online to only a few experienced developers. I am subscribed online to only a few, feel, only a few experienced developers as I feel that my best resources for advice. But then again, everyone has an opinion. Okay, I guess he says he subscribed to three online developers, different opinions. I'm just going to power through this because it's a pretty long email. Here's this dilemma. Coding has taken me away from WordPress. My mentors frown on CMS and think hand coding is the best way to go. I've been told that, that you make much less working with WordPress than as a coder. I have also heard that it is not accurate. Both concepts told by experienced developers. Very confusing. Who should I believe? Stats online confirm WordPress guys make less. Is that just certain instances? But the money is important. 
I've been led to be, believe that trying to go at it on your own as a noob is near impossible today. Some have said work for a company. Another has said oh, because of my age, I should go freelance route. Spin, spin, spin. What's a 60-year-old fellow to do? I live in NYS. Not a fan of commuting. I like WordPress. I like doing design, layout and design. I want to be able to code at least for what I need to do to get the point of being able to make some money. Do I continue to push forward and learn Node.js, React, or am I better hitting the brakes and divert to learning PHP MySQL? My bootcamp does not teach those. I just don't want to waste time learning stuff that isn't going to provide immediate benefit. What I don't need right now, I can learn down the road. I understand that it is also to do with what the job requires. My endpoint goal if there's decent money in it to become WordPress efficient and freelance as a WordPress site renovator, redesigner of existing sites and create new sites or be employed to do the same. I would appreciate any professional guidance suggestions from a guy who's got the experience and finger on the pulse of what's going on today, tomorrow. So, um, yeah. Well, if you're in a boot camp, you paid for it and you only have a couple months left after a year, I would say you might as well just, you know, get the training, learn the node, learn to react, because it's just going to be two tools in your toolbox that you might find very, uh, very useful down the road. You never know. You, if you're having troubles with functions, that tells me that you still need to go back and revisit the basics once again. That's a classic example of what I preach all the time. One of the fundamentals I keep hammering in is that the key to all this stuff is to really grasp the basics well. Once you have the basics of functions, you understand completely in objects and collection types and databases and how uh, the re request response cycle, these are all the basics that I really emphasize in my courses. Why? Because they're so important because they're the fundamental, they're fundamental to all this technology all the languages, whether it be uh, JavaScript, Python, PHP, Java, C Sharp, whatever. All this kind of stuff is very important. Understanding request response cycle is key to web apps. Now, it's not going to have a huge impact, but it's going to really open your mind to how all this stuff works. I think at 60, definitely I would think to myself it's the startup world is not for you because startups are looking for people who are willing to work very long hours for less money in hope that three, four, five, six, seven, ten years down the line you get the big payoff where 80% of the time that doesn't happen. And that's just that's not opinion, it's statistics. 80% of startups fail. So to keep that in mind. So if you're 20 years old, 30 years old, you have some time left in you to get into a startup, sure, you can get a lot of experience and uh, develop a lot of contacts. But at 60, I don't think that's probably the route for you. I think the route would be to either go work for a small company that's doing WordPress work once you've got some WordPress chops that, can, that you can show if you want to do that. And the op other option is to, and my preferred option, again, because it's just my preference, is to get into... Uh, to get into freelance work as a WordPress professional or WordPress web developer or WordPress web designer. And the reason I say that is because then you're going to have a lot more control over your schedule, over your time. And I think that the, you could approach clients would be more open to you, especially at first, because at first when you're a noob in any industry, you're going to have to prove yourself. So you're going to have to do a couple of freebie sites. Now, WordPress is so widely used by small businesses that there's probably a lot of businesses out there that you could approach. So perhaps you'll be able to find business owners who are within your age bracket, late 40s to, well, 50s, 60s, and they may be much more open to working with you. Now, you have a background. You did 30 years uh, in other work. I forget if you mentioned it in the email, perhaps you'd be able to reach out to your former employers or people in that industry where you could bring to the table not only your WordPress skills and your coding skills, you'll be able to bring to it your knowledge of that industry, that domain, which will help you to 
put out and better to put out better WordPress based sites or modify them. And that could be a, a good selling point for you as well. So uh, to conclude, this is a pretty long vlog because I, uh, I was stuttering through your email. So my apologies for that. I would suggest that route uh, with regards to the boot camp. You only got two months. You might as well do it. Those skills are there to be to learn to learn. I would really, uh, on the side as well, go back to basics of coding. Learn your functions. Uh, well, learn object-oriented programming. These are basics that should be like second nature to you, and then the rest will come much more easily. I can I can tell you that much. But I understand and remember that conceptually trying to understand what a function was and what was what was the point of object-oriented code, et cetera, et cetera. That's why I cover that extensively. It's key. So, yeah, that's what I would do. I would be leaning towards a freelance area. In terms of WordPress, what they earn, I imagine perhaps people doing WordPress work, working for somebody else would earn less than a pure coder, but there's different things you do in WordPress. There's WordPress theme creation, which requires a good knowledge of the WordPress uh, architecture, theme architecture, and that means you have to understand code, HTML, CSS, touch of JavaScript, but PHP would be more important. WordPress was created with PHP, so you gotta learn your PHP in that situation. So I imagine if you're a master theme creator and editor, or somebody who can go in there and tweak it and change things, or somebody has knowledge of all the plugins that are available in the WordPress world, I bet you the salaries go much higher in that situation as opposed to somebody just configures and sets up WordPress, maybe does modify his themes to a lesser degree. That being said, all bets are off when you're self-employed and you're consultant, then you can start making a lot more money because as you become more efficient, even though you tell your clients you're charging them X amount of dollars per hour, the fact of the matter is your efficiency will increase tremendously and, and the amount that you can charge will increase quite a bit. So you got to look at it, look at that as well. So that is uh, my counsel. You might as well finish it. React is like, I think it's a predominant uh, library for JS these days. So you might as well learn it. You never know. You may use it every now and then. Who knows? It might creep into WordPress in some way. But uh, I would go back to basics. I would get your portfolio site up there. I'd be started looking for uh, freebie clients, one or two that you can work with. You say, listen, you know, I'm just starting this up. I'm going to do this site for free to begin with, just so you can start developing some contacts and reputation and so forth, and developing your workflow. Very important. I don't emphasize this enough, I think, in my videos. A developer workflow is huge. Whether you're doing WordPress work or you're writing apps in Node, you have to develop a really good workflow to uh, maximize the efficiency of your time, and uh, that will go a long way you know, in terms of uh, you becoming profitable, especially as a freelancer. So I hope that answers that question. And uh, ciao.